there are four main types of manga. Shonen, Seinen, Shoujo, and Josei. There's also this weird fifth type that's kind of scary, but we're not here to talk about that one today. In this video, we're just going to cover Shonen, since that's the most popular type, more specifically Shonen Jump since they are the industry leader. Shonen Jump holds many popular Shonen manga, like Dragon Ball, Naruto, and One Piece. One Piece is currently the highest selling manga of all time and is still being serialized today. A good portion of Shonen Jump mangas will go on and receive anime adaptations. Even if the anime is bad, <coughs> receiving an adaptation means enough people liked your manga and wanted to see it in anime form. This basically means you've made it in the industry. However, even though being a mangaka can be very fulfilling, many find it hard to keep up with the weekly schedule Shonen Jump has in place. Many mangakas only receive about 3-4 to four hours of free time a week. This schedule drastically affected Bleach as it went on in its later chapters with repeated story arcs and low quality drawings. This schedule also leads some mangakas to change to the much more forgiving Ultra Jump for Sinan manga, which is on a monthly schedule instead of a weekly. However, they do expect longer chapters. Hirohiko Araki, author of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, said that a mangaka must have an infinite curiosity of the world around them in order to be successful. Unlike American comic books, manga is published in magazines. It would be like if Marvel would release a weekly magazine featuring Spider-Man, Iron Man, and Captain America in the same magazine instead of each character having separate issues. In 1968, the manga Astro Boy was released, and it would pave the way for the next decade of shonen. Not only was it one of the first notable shonen to gain traction, but it also started the sci-fi trend that ran through the 70s. Manga that came out during this trend were Mazinger Z, Cobra, and Legend of the Galactic Heroes. These mangas were incredibly successful for their time, but nowadays people kinda tend to forget about them. And it's not necessarily because they're bad, but what was about to come out next would be such a massive shift in the industry, it would be hard to go back. 1983 would see the start of what fans call the Golden Era. 1983 would see the release of the legendary Fist of the North Star. And if you've ever laughed at any variation of this meme, you have Fist of the North Star to thank for that. North Star started a much more martial arts based trend that the industry never really moved away from. The main characters that would appear in these mangas were abnormally buff and impossibly beautiful. This kid's 19. This kid is 19. <laughs> Mangas that came out during this time that are still being serialized today are JoJo's Bizarre Adventure debuting in 1987 and Dragon Ball debuting in 1984. The peak of the golden era was between 1983 and 1987 with the final chapter of Fist of the North Star being published. The golden era is considered to have ended between the early to mid 90s, however there's no distinct year. A new era known as the Big Three would come onto the scene in 1997 with the introduction of One Piece. Naruto and Bleach would soon follow it and join One Piece as the top 3 biggest manga of the 2000s. Just something to note, the big 3 can refer to whatever the top 3 most popular Shonen Jump manga are at the time. The big 3 in 2019 are My Hero Academia, Black Clover, and of course, One Piece. The reason why we call this the big 3 era however is because Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece were the most influential in bringing manga and anime to the west. This was because this little thing called the internet was just starting. The internet made it easier for people in the west to access and discuss this form of entertainment. Cartoon Network also played a huge factor in bringing Japanese entertainment over to the west with the introduction of the Toonami block. The Big Three era not only saw a dramatic change in writing styles, but it also saw a pretty big change in art styles. Characters still looked impossibly beautiful, <coughs> Giorno Giovanna. <coughs> But the characters also started to look much more human, like compare Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star to Naruto from, well, Naruto. Stories also started to become more well written with minor characters being put in much more important roles than just background characters, like for example Pashion from Vento Arreo or the Straw Hat Pirates from One Piece. And it wasn't just male characters, female characters were also getting removed from the damsel in distress trope to a much more important role in the actual overall story. Some would even become the main character. One Piece is the only one out of the big three to not receive any sort of sequel or be flat out cancelled. 